All right, hello everybody. Uh, I've got my list of recordings for this evening, um, and I have some actual time, so that's a great thing. And um, I'm going to start off with Jerusalem Ridge, which is a, a tune that was written by Bill Monroe, um, performed by uh, the fiddler that played with Bill Monroe, um, who was Kenny Baker. And uh, I'm going to hopefully do it justice. This is for uh, my student Stephanie to be able to listen to and anybody else um, that would like to uh, get better at Jerusalem Ridge. I will tell you um, that uh, what what Stephanie and I discovered uh, today during her lesson is that I do drop um, the two rests that are located at the end of the B part at the second ending. Um, I do drop those out. Um, so, you know, you might want to talk with the people that are playing with you um, before um, doing it my way. Um, I don't know if I would be able to play it and record it here with the rests in. Might be a little bit challenging. I've been playing this tune the way that I've been playing it for about 25 years. So, um, yeah, it might, it might be a little bit difficult, but I'm going to, I'm going to give it a go. I'm probably going to play it, um, oh, I'll do it two times. At a at a fairly at, at a fairly decent pace, uh, not um, not truly a practice tempo, and then I'll do it once as a practice tempo so that you can um, you can hear the things that that I do that are a little bit different. I change a couple of the notes around, um, but you know it's a fiddle tune, so you're allowed to do that. Um, I don't think uh, Bill Monroe or Kenny Baker would be very upset with my rendition. I hope that they would think that I did it justice, but you know, we're just gonna, well, I'll have to wait until well, I go to the great bluegrass, you know, jam in the sky or where, <laughs> wherever Bill Monroe and Kenny Baker are hanging out now. So, um, but here's Jerusalem Ridge. Uh, it was based after, um, the, uh, the Israeli national anthem, which is kind of cool. Um, I, I don't know how much of it is actually in this tune, um, but that is um, a from from the the bluegrass teacher that that I had. That is a true statement. So uh, ho hopefully they weren't lied to, and I didn't just lie to all of you guys. So now that I've talked about it enough, um, I'll check my egg and tune up here. sparkly tapes those are for some of my some of my students to be able to see some of the things here on my instrument so um, I think I might move you guys just slightly so that you can see my hand. I don't mind that crazy duck sound that my music stand likes to make it just does so yeah I think that looks good so we'll we'll go from there so Two times through at a nice at a nice sort of um, it could be a performing tempo and then um, I'll do it once um, at a at a nice uh, practice tempo to play along with. So my bowings are different than the bowings that are in. But this is the music that I'm using. I'm using it from the Fiddler's Fake Book. Okay, written by David David Brody. Oak Publications, great book. If you don't have it, you should get it. I recommend the spiral bound one though because otherwise you're gonna wanna get it redone as spiral because mine's falling apart right now with this type of binding. Um, so in any ways, and here you can see Jerusalem Ridge. Maybe I'll add in the picture of the music that I'm using. You can see that I did circle where um, the rests are and that this is a 2-4 measure down here. This was written in 1975. That's where the
copyright was back back then. There we go. All right. Here we go. Jerusalem Ridge, two times through. I'll give you a little start. Why not? We'll do it like it's on the recording. that's at basically a, a performing tempo uh, you could easily jam at, at that tempo it was probably I don't know, I'd say maybe maybe 110 maybe maybe 120 beats per minute um, I remembered to use the rests the first time through the tune the second time through the tune I totally played it like I like I always did so um, so you, at least you get one one uh, round with uh, the actual uh, rests as it's as it's written. Um, if you do listen to the recording of Kenny Baker and Bill Monroe playing it, he does do the rests. So if you are looking to you know, em emulate his actual solo, you you want to make sure that you do the rests. Um, and. Yeah, that's that's about it. It's a great tune. It's a lot of fun uh, to jam on. I did a little bit of a a different variation in the um, in the B part. Instead of holding the notes long the second time through, I did more uh, shuffles in there. Um, you know, you could go to um, in the B part. You can go to third. So that you get that nice like slide that's going on there that's kind of nice to to have um there same thing when you're going into second that's just that's just nice there okay do a tag along there you know slide into that that high c um makes it a little bit more more entertaining <clears throat> excuse me if i do say so myself so um now i'm gonna play it i'll play it note for note um from from the actual music now so that you can play play along i will use my own bowings um because um i i'm sure that that uh that david brody had a had a reason for 
um, putting in the bowings that, that he did. Um, I just don't care for them. And um, so I'm going to use the my usual rule of two um, and some other sort of more uh, truly old timey type bowings um, that emphasize the, the accents and things like that. So um, I will still do uh, the slide at the the slides that I add so that you can hear where those are. So here we are at a slow slower practice tempo. Jerusalem Ridge. <laughs> classical was showing a little bit as I added in some nice vibrato. <laughs> um, you don't have to do that. Um, but uh, you know, I, that's just something that happens sometimes. So there you go. There's Jerusalem Ridge, uh, hopefully, uh, listening to the, uh, at tempo and then also the practice tempo will help you. Um, I do have a little bit of a different variation of the C part as well as I was looking at that as I was playing. Um, I'm still using the same amount of beats, um, so I think that that it's basically okay. I've I've performed it with a with a bunch of people. Um, I've jammed with, with you know a lot of people playing playing my exact version and uh, excuse me, there hasn't been any type of issue. So um, hopefully it's okay. Hopefully it'll help you. Uh, if you don't like it, that's okay too. Uh, you know, so you can always look, always look for multiple recordings. It's the best way to be the best possible fiddler um, that you possibly can be. So there you go, Jerusalem Ridge by Bill Monroe. Uh, hope you enjoyed it and have a great night.